My name is Amy Jane Blackhall and I have a print studio located just outside of Caution called Ink on Paper Press. I work in a variety of processes um, but mostly print based um, and I would say my work tends to lean towards abstraction. It was great to be invited to be part of this project um, both to support and connect with the Regional Museum and other artists in my local area. It is also amazing to have the opportunity to have a print in a museum collection, which will be exhibited, accessible and archived for perpetuity. The print I've decided to donate to the museum was actually the first ever print edition of my own that I made at my studio. And it's also special to me, um, as in 2016, it was the first print I got accepted into the Royal Academy Summer Exhibition. Fountain is a carborundum print with hand colouring and collage. Um, carborundum is a process whereby you make a paste using silicon carbide grit and acrylic binder and then apply this to a metal or a plastic plate using in this case um, a paintbrush. When the carborundum dries it goes rock hard and immortalises your brush marks and the various textures created during application. When the plate is inked and wiped with scrim, which is a bit like a muslin fabric, it goes through an etching press, which is a sort of a glorified mangle, and with dampened paper on top. The combination of pressure and damp paper pulls the ink from the plate onto the surface of the paper, along with the embossed impression from the three-dimensional surface of the carborundum. If you look closely at this image, you'll see there is an area of blind embossing that seeps out outside um, the inked black triangle onto the blank paper. I'm drawn to archetypal symbols and elemental shapes and oriental art and eastern ideologies give me great inspiration. Um, the ambiguous downward flow you see at the base of the image is a gradated purple wash that was made in reference to the Japanese technique of bokushi that is very recognisable in many ukiyo-e um, woodcut prints. I then avail this area with a piece of Japanese kozo paper to soften the overall impression. Never is the importance of access to contemporary art in regional areas more evident. Um, it is vital art is available to view throughout the country, not just in its capital and large cities. This democratic approach allows local communities of all ages to engage and be inspired by a variety of work which they may not otherwise have the opportunity to see. Links and connections can also be made with makers in the local area and beyond. This area has a rich arts heritage. Um, in Corsham, where I live and work, there is a strong legacy of Bath Academy of Arts with its impressive array of world-renowned artist tutors and alumni that have worked within the walls of Corsham Court. Many artists living in this area are ex-students at the Academy or know a tutor or student who was. I trained as a printmaker under Jack Sheriff, who was an etching tutor at the Academy and went on to set up his own print studio, 107 Workshop, um, locally. To feel part of a historical context and continue working within this community is inspiring. Of course, there are also the creative benefits of being close to London and vibrant cities such as Bath and Bristol, alongside being surrounded by historic villages, towns and beautiful rolling countryside too.